Hey people, how's it going? In this lesson, I thought we'd take a look at Fire and Water by Free and take a look at the rhythm guitar section of that song. So let's take a closer look at the riffs. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the intro riff and I'll just play it a little bit slower so that you can see what's going on. play that. Okay so the very first chords you hear, take this first finger and just bar the D and the G string on the 7th fret and we're going to play the open A string as well as the two notes we just fretted. The first thing you hear is and then we're going to play an A5 power chord, keep that finger where it was and bring this third finger in onto the ninth fret on the G string. So what you've got now is remember this A5 chord we're going to return to that in a second then we're going to put in this little octaves fill and how we play that is put your first finger on the 10th fret on the A string and your third finger on the 12th fret on the G string and play the fret notes as well as this open D string but in the middle do is we play that chord and we drop a semitone. Remember this G octave because we're going to go back to that as well in a second. So what we've got so far is then return to your A5 power chord, return to your G octaves, this time slide it up to the 12th fret. So if we put that together, we've got... And the A5 again. And then we get this extra fill. So we put to the A5 power chord again. So that's first finger on the D string on the seventh and third finger on the G string on the ninth. And what we're going to do is then take this finger off, bar that G string at the seventh, and then play the G string on the sixth. So you've got. together we've got I'll just play through the verse riff so you can see what's going on So this riff uses power chords, just a two finger type. Uh, we're going to start off here putting our first finger on the low E string on the fifth fret and putting our third finger on the A string on the seventh fret and just playing the lowest two strings. And what we're doing is sliding this shape, this finger here, up to the seventh fret. So we've got, what we'll do is we'll play that through twice. Then we're going to take the same power chord shape, but play it on the A string. So first finger on the A string on the fifth fret, third finger on the seventh fret on the D string, and play through once with the same step that we did before, going up to the from the fifth to the seventh. So what it does is plays it through on the low E string here twice, and then plays the riff through on the A string once, then back to the low E string. So what, when we put it all together what we've got is... And what we do is we repeat that section again, 
but after we've played the power chords on the A string, we don't return to the E bit, we play this fill. So what that sounds like when it's with the other part is... playing the power chord on the 7th fret on the A string 1st finger A string 7th fret 3rd finger D string ninth fret and then taking that down to the 5th fret this finger down to the 5th fret then keeping this finger where it is and just dropping this finger a semitone down to the 4th fret so you've got now that riff appears quite a bit after each verse section it appears and after the chorus as well. So, you... so if I play the verse through all the way you get the chorus chord progression so you can see what's going on so the very first chord is a B5 or B power chord take your first finger place it on the A string on the second fret put your third finger on the D string on the fourth fret and your little finger on the G string on the 4th fret and only play the strings you're fretting and you've got this driving rhythm and the next chord we're going to take our 2nd finger and place it on the 5th fret on the A string and our 1st finger on the D string on the 4th fret and just play those two strings take a D major chord, it's just the root of the 3rd that's what you seem to be doing on the live versions that I've watched but on the recorded version, I think it could be a D power chord. But you can play either, whichever you feel more comfortable doing. So that's... So the second chord can be... This D major. Or D power chord. Which would be first finger on the fifth fret on the A string. Third finger on the D string on the seventh fret. And the little finger on the G string on the seventh fret. So it's either or, really. next chord is an A5. Take your first finger and bar the D string and the G string on the 2nd fret and just play the open A string, the D string and the G string. That's so what you've got is. Then back to that B power chord. And then a D major chord, which is first finger on the G string on the 2nd fret. Third finger on the B string on the third fret, and second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and play the highest four strings. What we do is play that chord followed by that A5 again, and then we go up to an E power chord. So that's first finger on the A string on the seventh fret, third finger on the D string on the ninth and the little finger on the G string on the ninth, and then back to that B5. So when you put it all together, you've got... And then what we get is the chord riff from earlier. That we're playing at the end of our verses this time with an extra chord on the end just bar the A string and the D string at the second fret and just play those two notes that's what you get is and then that leads back to the verse so if you put the chorus and that little riff in together it's
while the guitar solo is going on, the, the rhythm guitar is just alternating between playing a B5, which is first finger on the seventh fret on the low E string, third finger on the A string on the ninth fret, and then move this one finger, keep the shape the same, up here to the A string, that's where your E power chord is. As, you, as the uh, rhythm guitar is playing that, then it sort of starts to change to. And that's just lifting off this third finger and having a bar on the lowest two strings. So you do an upstroke, do the same thing with the E power chord. A good thing to practice your lead guitar work would be to try and play along with Paul Kossoff's solo and use it as a call and answer to try and find the licks that he's playing. What he's using is the B blues scale to solo. What I have found though is that the recorded version on the Free Fire and Water album seems to be just a tiny bit out of tune, as in the whole band is tuned just a little bit lower than standard E. So that means if you're trying to play along, it's going to sound a little bit out of tune. So I've, there's some good live versions on YouTube, which is in the proper standard E tuning, which is worth playing along with. <laughs> 